Hello, this is John Kamalopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece. The Laser Visual Amateur Surgery Center is really a pleasure to share with you some of our experience with uh, extreme keratoconus cases. Uh, it's well known that we've established, and now it's uh, a world phenomena, the Athens Protocol CXL. We can see here before and after, and the difference on the left on a very severe keratoconic eye. This patient, as you can see here, tried scleral lenses which fitted relatively well, but he developed intolerance to the lenses. These are his uh, beautiful OptiPU atherosegonal CT maps of the extreme cone and the uh, total cornea thickness and epithelial thickness. This is the improvement he had with the Athens protocol. Uh, not much because we had very little room to work. See that we started with almost 360 microns at the thinnest, but the IHD has improved from 240 to 150, normalizing significantly the cornea his refraction seen here is extreme at uh, minus eight, minus one and a half. Uh, he's count fingers uh, uncorrected. And uh, the solution, since there's significant anisometropia between the two eyes, the other eye has very little keratoconus, is our EVO ICL vision fake intraocular lens. It's a brilliant uh, testament of technology. I've personally visited the Santa Ana plant of uh, Star Surgical. We can see here. This is not the manufacturer recommended. I'm folding the lens curved upwards with a toothless forceps and I'm pushing it gently not to tear the lens. This is the placement axis 158 degrees as uh, calculated by the uh, uh, STAR team and they're very good at it. The 2.7 uh, millimeter incisions and large slightly, we're using epinephrine here to um, enlarge the uh, pupil. And we're going to fill the anterior chamber with provisc. You can see we'll get a few millimeters more of uh, pupillary dilatation. Um, enlarging here my incision to a close 3.5 millimeters needed for the injection cartridge to enter the anterior chamber. It's very important here to keep the lens orientation as placed in the cartridge, not to flip the lens upside down, because it's very difficult to then flip it to the right position and also determine the right side up. So we can see that the, the, the vision uh, ICL has a central uh, opening, a central aperture that uh, does not require any more a uh, laser iridotomy or surgical iridotomy, which is a major issue for very high myopic eyes. I use the uh, Kugelin hook here to engage the haptics of the lens very easily under the iris. And I'm going to use that same uh, hook to gently rotate the lens and uh, engage the uh, third trailing haptic under the iris and then the final fourth. And then, of course, orient the lens in the marks we had put before, 158 degrees here. As you can see, we marked the 6 o'clock, which is now a total clock in surgeon's view preoperative in a slit lamp to be absolutely certain that our axis is as good as possible. And we've compared this against most automated uh, devices intraoperative for axis accuracy, and it is uh, as good, if not better. Uh, Acular calling to attain meiosis, and our patient is an uncorrected now, 2030. Uh, we can see the very nice placement of the lens. It's very hard to tell. You can only see the aperture of the lens. A very happy patient. We can see here with the OptiView OCT the very good placement of the ICL as we're getting a um, section within the central aperture and its distance from the physical lens. We're going to go to another uh, patient uh, who post Athens protocol. In the left eye is calm fingers. We can see here the dramatic difference right up um, uh, after, right down, uh, right up before, right down after, and left the difference. And now here, on the Pentacam maps uh, before left uh, after middle and the difference in the right. Again, a very extreme cone. Post-treatment, the thinnest is at uh, 392. We can see the epithelium remodeling, as we have described, is a remarkable post athens protocol. And even with the site map device by Alcom, we cannot get wavefront maps. Uh, this is a very regular eye. Good cell counts, though. We can see here that the cell counts are over 2,000 in this uh, patient, despite the atherosclerotic cross-linking. The lens here is a minus um, 18 lens with four diopters of astigmatism, and the placement is at uh, 168 degrees. Here's our uh, sequel marker. 
guided from a six o'clock uh, spot we put on a slit lamp. We fill the cartridge with uh, normal saline and then ProVisc. I pick the lens myself from the tube. And uh, as I mentioned previously, I go uh, in an opposite way than the one usually recommended in folding the lens curved up and I'm very careful on the microscope to make sure that uh, the haptics are placed within the cartridge and then advance the lens very carefully not to nick or distort the lens with these toothless forceps all the way into the cartridge and of course this is probably the most critical part of the procedure to see this lens in this case also unfold very nicely in the anterior chamber again a three 0.5 millimeter incision here, very important to create the incision in a way that it's watertight. Uh, the, we're going to fold the lens with some extra provisc seen here. And we talked about before how important the orientation of the lens is. I try and use the least manipulation possible. Again, with my Kublin hook here, I will go in with my second uh, haptic. We saw the first one, and then rotate the lens gently. If needed, I'll replenish uh, with uh, uh, ProVisc. This is done under uh, short-term peribulbar anesthesia. I use only 1% xylocaine uh, peribulbary with uh, white ace, and it lasts for about an hour, so the patient will wait. Uh, the eyes will open. Uh, if this was a bilateral case, we do both eyes the same day. I'm uh, irrigating aspirating right at the aperture of the lens to make sure I, I, I pull out the viscoelastic from underneath the lens and my cold to attain meiosis, so watertight incision, perfect positioning. Uh, and uh, this lens is very rare to uh, to move around. We're at uh, 20, 40 uncorrected, a remarkable result for a cornea of this uh, magnitude. And we can see how pristine, number one, the cornea looks after the Athens protocol and how well positioned the lens is away from the uh, crystalline lens of the eye, perfect centration, a very nice result and a very good alternative to these patients. We can see here the distance of the uh, ICL, the vision ICL from the lens of the eye and a very happy patient. I hope you found this interesting. This is John Kenopoulos signing off. Thanks so much.